And today we also invite um, two FDFC junior students to tell their stories. So um, please first welcome Shu Chen Li, Daryl. Um, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Can you see me? Okay. Okay, so today um, I would like to share some experiences of online learning. So one biggest challenge of online learning is self-control. For most of our courses are not in the form of video conference. Um, we don't usually have to take time to think about, you know, proper attire. So I myself sometimes watch videos and films until late night and wake up merely minutes before next day's class begins and sometimes enter with my pajamas on. Like many others, my original intention was to sort of make good use of this opportunity online course has given us to involve some relaxation in study. I asserted to myself, I just relax for a while like that. But because of a sudden lack of supervision and a lack of, you know, rigid schedule, I still felt to resist against the infinite temptations of those games and videos. But fortunately, I realized this problem and I fought back these unsaturated temptations. Um, the way I did this is trying to stick back to my original timetable at school by sending some reminders to remind myself, oh, it is time to get rid of your phone and do some eye exercises, or it is time to do some physical exercises, or it is time for you to do some reading, or it is time to, to light off and get to bed, or you have no energy to do for the study tomorrow. And these are the things we teenagers or students usually overlook or ignore when given too much freedom. And after exercising or reading and um, having my brain refreshed, the remaining time can also be better utilized, um, for example, for extended learning. When I really started learning the statistics or um, reading some research work on Python, okay, I realized that, wow, so much sufficient time provided by online course learning at home can be so allocated to such long-term and rewarding goals. But generally, um, I enjoy this online learning process because online courses brought me greater balance and freedom to arrange the various activities. And I realized that for a, self, a sort of self-controlled student and self-disciplined student like me, online course um, brings happiness, fulfillment, and a sense of purpose in time of uncertainty. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Daryl. And um, here is Xin Ran Wu, Silvis, to talk about her experience. Um, hello, everyone. I'm Silvis, Xin Ran Wu. Uh, I would like to share some of my experiences in online learning and how to compose an activity online. Uh, firstly, during in this special period, most of our materials and homework need to be downloaded or uploaded online. So using electronic document editing instead of um, photo taking of, of our paperwork is a more convenient option during this outbreak. Um, compared to the school, a family atmosphere will make students more eager to relax and rest. In this case, it is necessary to put a to-do list in a prominent place on the table and update it in a timely manner. Also, you can use the four quadrant rule of time management to classify um, tasks and homework. Staying at home does not mean that we reduce the interaction between the outside world and ourselves. Through the internet, we have the opportunity to carry out various um, activities to put some of our ideas into practice. In February, several high school students from different schools in Shanghai formed the materials donation group by publishing a public account tweet, we launched a fundraising campaign between schools in Jiangsu, Zhejiang, and Shanghai, and found some influential accounts to forward our tweets. Our team contacted many manufacturers to find suitable materials, and at last, we sent materials we bought to the hospitals in Wuhan. This experience not only enabled me to do my best to do things for this uh, global epidemic, but also improve my organization and communication skills. That's all, thank you. 